China has a history of large-scale engineering projects. From the Great Wall of China to the world's largest high-speed rail network, many long bridges, and towering skyscrapers. But their latest mega-project, a massive underground tunnel, poses many problems. Engineers will have to build three tunnels for cars, trains, and maintenance work through hard rock 100 feet below the seabed. The Bohai Strait Tunnel is 123 kilometers long, of which 90 kilometers are underwater. The estimated project cost is 260 billion yuan or 41 billion US dollars. In August 2014, it was reported that work would begin during the 13th five-year plan, and construction would last 10 years. When completed, cars will be loaded onto wagons and transported at speeds of up to 250 km per hour, reducing travel time between Dalian and Yantai to around 40 minutes. Currently, the ferry crossing between the two cities, which are about 170 km apart, takes 8 hours one way. Mega Tunneling an investment of 260 billion yuan should pay off within 12 years. By 2015, daily traffic between Dalian and Yantai is expected to increase to more than 100,000 vehicles. The Bohai Strait Transit Tunnel is the shortest distance from northeast China to east and south China. The Laotian Canal was an important maritime transport channel, so it was impossible to cross the bridge. The width of the Laotian Canal is 50 kilometers. So the problem of ventilation, disaster prevention, and rescue is not solved at present. So the road tunnel cannot be built. Thus, the toll road road should be maintained in the short term. But rail is still the preferred route. At present, the Bohai Strait Canal project will use an integrated island tunnel bridge technology similar to the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. The total length of the bridge is 48 kilometers, and the length of the tunnel is 42 kilometers. The total length of the bridge will soon exceed the total length of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. However, unlike the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the construction of the Bohai Expressway will depend on the Changshan Islands, which naturally exist near Yantai and Shandong Province. In particular, the section of the Bohai Strait Bridge will start from Penglai in the upper part of Yantai and Shandong Province and go south. The two large islands, Chang Sandu and Bukjan Sandu, are connected by a series of small islands that naturally exist in the Bohai Strait, as in the northern map of the east, and will be connected by an artificial island underwater tunnel. Ecological Importance Off the coast of Funlai and Shandong Province, 151 islands line the border between the Bohai Sea and the Yellow Sea. The Changshan Islands are a rich habitat for migratory birds and seals. It is one of the 24 main candidates for the new marine national park status. But over the past two decades, local authorities have hoped to use the archipelago to build a railway tunnel under the Bohai Strait that would connect Yantai to the northeastern capital of Dalian. Cars and pedestrians can travel by train, reducing travel time between Shandong and Liaoning from 10 hours to less than an hour. Tunnel planning is entering a critical phase. Is it worth building a tunnel? What is the significance of the Bohai Strait and the Changshan Islands? Will the area have enough biodiversity to remain a marine national park? The Bohai Strait has a different ecological vision. Conserving nature has become a much bigger priority in China since Chinese President Xi Jinping pushed for an ecological civilization in 2012. This has accelerated the construction of the national park system, which aims to increase the amount of protected land in China and consolidate the existing fragmented and redundant system. In 2015, the State Council approved the pilot operation of national parks in nine provinces. In 2017, they announced a comprehensive plan for building the system. Large terrestrial national parks have been developed to protect animal habitats and ecosystems. Meanwhile, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration now under the Ministry of Natural Resources, has identified 24 potential marine park sites, including the Changshan Islands. It is one of the most important bird migration routes in China, with nearly a quarter of all bird species in China passing through. It's also a habitat and breeding site for the spotted seal, a class 2 state-protected species, with an area of only 56.8 square kilometers, which is smaller than the area surrounded by Beijing's Second Ring Road, the island already has a marine park, a geological park, 
a forest park and a bird sanctuary. Environmental Risks Safety concerns have been raised by some, as the proposed tunnel would pass over and around two seismic faults. In 1976, an earthquake measuring 7.5 on the Richter scale struck Tangshan Hebei province, between Shandong and Liaoning. The official death toll was 242,000, but some estimates outside of China put it at 655,000. Its depth and extent are only part of the problem. The Bohe Tunnel must also be planned around two major fault zones. Throughout modern Chinese history, the Tanglu and Zhangjia Kupanglai faults have been a source of chronic seismic activity. The most famous is the 1976 Tangshan earthquake, which killed between 250,000 and 650,000 people. But there were other earthquakes as well over the years. Perhaps the most shocking historical earthquake for tunneling engineers was the 1969 magnitude 7.4 quake just below the bay. What exactly can be done about it? Li Sanzhong, professor of ocean geology at China Maritime University, told Sun Shen that the solution is to reinforce the walls of the tunnels to withstand an earthquake of at least magnitude 8. Although the construction of the Bohai Tunnel may depend on the characteristics of the archipelago, construction is still very difficult. The geological structure of the Bohai Strait is unstable since it's in a fault zone. Geological activity is very active on the seabed of the Bohai Strait. Since the founding of the People's Republic of China, more than 30 earthquakes measuring 7 on the Richter scale have occurred on the seabed in the Bohai Strait. These powerful earthquakes made undersea bridges and tunnels more difficult to construct. For super infrastructure projects that are more than a year old, China must find a reasonably robust way to respond to earthquakes. The provincial governments of Shandong and Liaoning are said to have invested a total of $16.3 billion. But the price has already gone beyond what they can afford. To make matters worse, these tunnels are almost always over budget. Channel, Seikan, and Big Dig are just a few examples. Angered by rising local government debt, the central government has called for restraint and stimulus spending. However, the Bohai Tunnel is not necessarily a luxury project created by the local authorities, although it is possible. Is it not a piece of cake? Two possible design approaches are currently favored. It's either a single underwater tunnel or an inter-island version that combines a tunnel and a bridge to reach the Changshan Islands. Regardless of the approach chosen with a single tunnel, an island design and vertical dredging through two islands are required to facilitate penetration and ensure safe operation. Bridges required for mixed access cover a large area. It was clear to the late Wang Mengshu of the design team that the tunnels would be built and already deployed in Yantai and Dalian. But there were many doubts about their necessity and feasibility. So far, there are no specific plans for tunnels or marine national parks. The State Council ordered studies and proposals on national parks, their number and size, but also did not propose plans for specific land parks or water parks. The national park system is being tested at 10 sites that will be designated as official national parks in 2020. Plans for national and marine parks will become clearer as lessons learned from testing and tunneling begin. A detailed study of the local geology and hydrology cannot begin until the master plan has been approved. This was followed by feasibility and cost studies, which the State Council finally approved. An environmental impact analysis is also required. In any case, the State will likely still give the project the green light. Shandong University professor Wang Yaming believes tunnels and parks are necessary. But more data and analysis is needed to see if they can coexist. That's it for this one, guys. We hope you enjoy the video. If you did, consider liking it and sharing it with someone else who might enjoy it. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this and hit that bell icon if you never want to miss another video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.